I want to, uh, I want to talk about a topic that some people will like, some people will not. The Drive. Good morning, welcome to another episode of The Drive. Dean Holland here and, uh, Welcome, uh, thank you for joining me on this drive to the offices. So, a little different today because I actually went this morning, had my hair cut, which you can probably tell if you've been following the drives, you'll notice like a little trimmer on top right now. Um, so, I want to uh, I want to talk about a topic that some people will like, some people will not. Some people may disagree with, some people may like what I'm about to say, but what I'm about to say is based off of what I have witnessed over the last few months. And uh, this isn't to directly call out any individual personally, but actually an observation. Now, when you are building a business online, or when you have a business online, each week or each day that passes, if you are not moving your business forwards, then ultimately you're going backwards. You know, I don't believe there's such a thing as staying still. Me personally, I believe you're either moving forwards or you're going backwards. Now, I believe that having some accountability for yourself assist you in a positive way to keep you on track. But, here, and here's what, here's kind of my topic of the day that I want to just mention, is how different people react differently to accountability. And I'll tell you where this is coming from. Now, going back two or three months, I started in our private community group that we have just for our certified partners at Internet Profits, which is from our partner program. Um, I start, I do this daily broadcast that I call the Daily Dean inside of our group. So every day I go on Facebook Live and I, you know, share something or talk about a topic or share something that's working or show them something that I'm doing. And, but, Every, every Monday, one of the things I do every Monday is I actually have a, an accountability session where I call it, basically, uh, I, I ask people to leave their statement of intent for this week. Meaning every Monday they get to turn up to my live broadcast and, and make a statement about what it is that they're doing in their business and why they're going to accomplish those things that week. So it's essentially, on Mondays I say, let me know what you're going to get done this week and then at the end of the week on Friday, I revisit what people have said in order to, I actually need to turn around, I've uh, driven the wrong way, but um, I'm gonna just spin around here. And so, and then on Friday, I read out what they said they were going to accomplish to, for an update on how things are going. Now, I've noticed something interesting. Initially, everybody was like, yes, some accountability, great, this is really going to be helpful. But as time goes on, and this is not an observation, I've realized this isn't just for my partners, this is everybody, everybody handles accountability differently. Some people thrive with accountability and some people shy away from accountability. And it's interesting to see, and I tell you why this is, because some people say they're going to do things, but don't, okay? Some people make a statement of intent that I'm going to accomplish or finish X, Y, and Z task this week, and then it comes to the end of the week, <coughs> excuse me, it comes to the end of the week and I don't hear from them. And then the next week comes around and people say things like, okay, so this week I'm definitely getting this done. I didn't pull the trigger yet because of this reason or this reason. And then the next week comes and they say the same thing. And then eventually they stop leaving their statement of intent. And so, the reason I'm bringing this up today is to get you to think 
and I know some of our certified partners will be watching this, and if this applies to you, or if you're not even one of our certified partners and this applies, this should be a very important message and a very important thought that I want you to think is, are you A, setting goals for yourself, and B, are you getting them done? Because if you say, I'm going to do a new video this week, or I'm going to write that blog post, or I'm going to place that ad, or I'm going to finish that case study, or I'm going to launch that product, or I'm going to do this or that. If the weeks keep passing by, and you say you're doing it and you're not, you need to address why. Now, I'll be the first to say that over the last 12 months, I ran into a situation in my company where I had all these intentions of getting things done and things were not happening at, in a timely manner that I'd set out. And deadlines kept coming and going and coming and going. And so I'm not being a hypocrite when I say this, but what I am saying is, if you find that that is happening to you, the lesson that I've learned over the last 12 months is, you have to sit down and assess why. Why are you missing deadlines? Why is that thing not complete? Why did you say you'd get that done and it isn't? And when you understand the why, then you can find the fix. Then you can seek the solution. For me, that solution was growing my team and bringing on board new members into the company to help me get things finished because too much was my responsibility and too much wasn't getting done. If you're saying you're going to get it done and you're not getting it done because you're afraid or you fear getting it wrong or you fear something not working out, then you've got to just get over that and push through. But ultimately, here's the message of the day. First, set goals. Second, get them done to the best of your ability. And if you can't or, you, or you're not, assess why and fix it. Okay, so with that said, hopefully you can see we're here at the offices. Time for me to get in there, do some recording and lots of other cool stuff. So have a great day. I shall see you again in another episode of The Drive.